Hi, this video will demonstrate how to enable client logging. Client logging can help to analyze issues related to the application code. This process will be demonstrated on Windows 7, but the steps are similar for other versions of Windows and character-based systems. From the OpenLedge program menu, select the ProEnv option. This will open a command prompt containing the OpenEdge environment settings. Run the ABL client program with the following client startup parameters. First, client log. This parameter defines the name of the log file. Logging level. This parameter defines the level of the logging. Tree stands for verbose. Log entry types. This parameter defines the different types of log entries in a comma separated list. In this example, the options for GL trace and then objects are used. Optionally, the debug alert parameter can be added to log the program stack for any error that occurs when running the code. These client parameters can also be added to the shortcut icon. As well in a parameter file. Now run the application and reproduce the issue that you have. While running the application, the log file will be created in the sessions working directory. Open the file in your favorite editor. Notice that the log file will show the defined logging level and log entry types and the related log entries corresponding to the flow of the application. It's also possible to activate the client logging from within the ABL code. Especially when debugging large pro programs, it may be required to activate logging only for a specific part of the code. This is done by using the log manager system handle. To set this, open the code where you want to add the logging. in this demo when clicking on the button. Define the log file using the attribute log file name. Set the logging level. Okay. 
and set the lock entry types. You can stop the log manager by setting the close log attribute. Run the code and reproduce the issue. Oops, there we go. In the working directory, the find log file will be created. In this case, log manager that log. For more information about activating client logging, please refer to the manual debugging and troubleshooting, which can be found in the progress community site. Thank you for watching.